Uh, so, uh, notice that um, the uh, right now we are displaying the dynamic list of modules based on the ID of the course, right? And uh, let's uh, let's uh, um, what I'd like to be able to do is is you know depending on the course that I select, you know, I like to be able to highlight that course. I mean that module, right? And the way we could do that is that we can encode the the module that we clicked on on the URL because we're going to need that anyway, right? The module that we select on because that's going to drive the list of lessons that is on the right hand side. Okay, um, so let's uh, let's work on that, right? We'd like to be able to you know, just like we did for the course. Right, selecting the course and we loaded the modules. We would like to be able to load the lessons for the modules, right? And I believe we implemented as well that kind of thing, right? So here are some modules. Uh, these are the modules, right? And presumably we have uh, the lessons for that module, right? With the ID and then ask for the lessons. Yeah, we got some lessons, right, for that particular module if we select it. So let's uh let's uh implement that, right? That that if we click on a different module, we get the lessons, right? So so to do that, we're going to need uh, another component here, right? Based on the based on the um, on the module that we select. Okay, so let's let's convert this into a list of modules. Okay, so let's do that. That, that we can click on. Um, actually, no, before we do that, wait a minute. Uh, notice that we have this fetch. That's a bad practice, right? We don't want to leave it there. It should live inside of a service. Uh, but notice what is this fetch doing? This fetch is retrieving modules. It's not retrieving courses, right? We already have a service that retrieves courses, right? But instead, uh, this is retrieving modules. So, this should leave it a separate service, right? That deals only with modules. All right, so let's create another service, TypeScript, and this will be a module service client, TypeScript. Oh, not JS, not JS. Uh, delete. Let's create a TypeScript. This will be a module service client. And in here, we'll create a, we're gonna export a class. There we go. And we're gonna create functions such as find the mod, mod, modules for a course. This is gonna take as argument a course. ID, right? And what is it going to do? It's going to do this fetch right here, right there. See that? And and the way we're going to reuse this is by injecting this, right? So we need to annotate this as injectable, and we need to declare it in the module, in the app module, as a provider, as a module. Uh, module service client. There it is. Once we do that, right, in our component now, we can ask for it in our constructor as a service, as a module service client, right, so that we can then replace it, replace this. You know this dot service dot find modules for course. We can pass in the course ID, and then that's going to retrieve the modules. Let's see if we broke it something. You know, it looks like it's working. Excellent. All right, excellent. So let's move on to uh, create. You know, rendering these as links. 